Yeah. If he's not on your team. <laughs> so just, just get him on your team and you're good to go. All right, so here we go. Esam versus Dath, the run back. Yep. Pan the Global's Esam versus EVB Dath. If you want to follow them, at, at PG underscore Esam and uh, at Dath underscore LY. At Dath underscore LY, all right. Yeah. Uh, and of course, uh, follow versus Gaming Center at uh, VS Gaming Center and uh, tweet up stream twitch.tv slash yes. VSGC. This is grand final. Last chance to do it. There are and no sets after this one. Go ahead, tweet it out. These are both threats at the national level. Daph and Esam, and Daph beating Esam again. These guys go back and forth yeah. uh, in a matchup that you don't get to see very often. I mean, it's only in South Florida, honestly. Yeah. Where are the Robins oh. out there? Brazier oh. plays club now, so. This is the jab lock there. Jab lock on the ledge is really tricky. Yeah, I can, I can tell. Uh, Esam lost a kill in the previous game by that. And uh, now Daph, though. Ooh, nice forward tilt. Daph has to recover, and Esam lets him back on the stage. Daph. Gets a few charges in, loses the Leaven Sword. <laughs> Esam trying to use that Leaven Sword to hit his own advantage, but not quite. Oh, great oh. forward smash. The Solid catch. The sweetest of spots. Now Dath has uh, at least 20 or 30 more percent before the checkmate will uh, will hit. So has his I think maybe even 40, off. honestly. 40, with, really? With, with no rage? Yeah, I'd say so. That's true, that's a good point. He needs a little rage to catch him with some sense. Whoa! That grab so terrible. Yeah, it's so bad. It really is. Like I feel bad for Robin players. But imagine if it was a good grab, though. Imagine how much better of a character Robin would be because checkmate would just be so much easier if it was a good grab. Yeah. I'm not saying that balances it. I'm just saying if it was a good grab, it, we're looking at yeah. like a top 15 character in Robin. Robin would have a lot more consistency. That's absolutely, absolutely for sure. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. And probably more than two players in the oh. world. That oh, there's nice Mr. Uh, Mr. E, Mr. I, I, the other the Japanese. Oh yeah, yeah. Mr. E or oh, it is. Isim got greedy. He went for the blue thunder uh, read. And uh, our thunder. Good there game. it is. All right, super solid game one yep. going to Isim. Mm -hmm. And then I mean, you're watching this. If you didn't see the uh, winners finals, kind of wondering how did Daffy even beat him. But uh, you know, yeah. we talked about earlier uh, with the checkmate. If you don't know the down throw up air. Combo kills uh, Pikachu at, like, before grab at, like, 80, 85. Yeah, around you know, 80, ish. yep. yep. With Rage even earlier, closer yep. to 70. Mm -hmm. So it's ridiculously hard as Pikachu not to get that much damage while still being super aggressive and not letting uh, Robin charge. Her Definitely. Attacks. And uh, when it comes to Pikachu getting the kill, you know, Pikachu does have to, uh, you know, aggress a little bit and, uh, you know, put himself kind of at risk of getting grabbed. Oh, my oh! God. That, that. Wow. That's wow. Wow, uh, Daph just... Unfazed, though. Yep. He's still focused. Daph is like, I planned that all along. <laughs> He's like, I'm I'm uh, channeling my inner Lucario, getting that stock aura. Why? Okay, okay, right there. He yeah. was crouching when he shot El Thunder, yeah. and then he shielded. <laughs> he could have just stayed crouching. Yeah. I don't understand. Well, you know what? He, he panicked a little bit. I don't know why he panicked. He was in the correct position already. <laughs> mm -hmm. See? See? <laughs> yeah. You're you right. crouch under... Thunder, El Thunder, Arc Thunder, and Thoron. All four of them ah. Pikachu can crouch under. Well, it doesn't seem like he needs to use it with such a huge advantage, but... Mm, there we go. Not. Okay, he heard you. He heard yeah. you through Mike. And... Good shield pressure. Oh, shield looking like a pebble. Ooh. Taste the I'm rainbow. He, yeah, he just poked there. Yeah, actually, same. Species jab is like it seems pretty low to the ground. And uh, I, I do have to point out, I have never noticed there's a skunk Animal Crossing character. Huh, look at that. Yeah, I've seen it before. This and is my ooh. favorite. Well, was my favorite Animal Crossing background just because uh, Gyroid goes crazy. Yeah, yeah he it's starts it's rocking out. Satisfying. No uh, one, no one gets more hyped. Moves is actually like if you watch the background as it moves, it's kind of nauseating. <laughs> like it is. Oh, I can see that. I'm gonna, I'm just gonna just. <laughs> I'm, just I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna focus on the match. And uh, and speaking Ooh. of the match, Esam with a strong adventure. Daph though, probably looking for those grabs. Esam I'm surprised game one went to town. And, oh, this is game one. Just kidding. Back yeah. throw, gonna do oh, it. Oh wow! I I yeah. actually don't think back throw would do it there. Oof. And uh, Daph though, Ooh. not gonna make it easy to recover. Uh oh, that's a forward smash. Yep. yep. That T jolt just offsetting uh, Dad's positioning, forcing him to up B in a very inoptimal spot, and just gonna eat an F smash. So, uh, it, really impressive there that Esam like is showing such a strong 
commandingly both yeah. games. Death uh, hasn't done much the whole set. No. I don't know if, if Death is getting tired. Oh, wow. Whoa. Look at Ethan's face. Because <laughs> really? he knows he, really? he lost to Cosmos, really? right? Yeah. Uh, no. It was, a, it was one of the corns. It was, it, was, it was a Cosmos or someone else. Okay. Because that would have been sad because Cosmos is like, a huge PG fan. Oh, really? Okay. I yeah. don't I don't uh, remember which corn it was actually. Then. Shout out to that corn player, though. Yeah, yeah seriously. Uh, it was, oh, it was Frozen. Uh, frozen, yes. I think it was Frozen. Rage. I thought it was just Frozen. Well, I don't know if it was Frozen. He got seventh at uh, Smash Con and uh, was in his pool. So. Oh, wow. Yeah. So regardless, uh, Isam clearly showing his, uh, his uncomfort in this matchup here. I don't know what corns he's uh, played against. I know he used to have one of his own, but yeah. you know, there's a definitely a big difference of playing the character and playing against the character. Absolutely. That was such a good wow. nair, though. So if you haven't seen it already, uh, Isam has a video about corns recovering. Uh, and and deal, is a deal with it, I think. Oh, uh, one good of that series. So, uh, I actually haven't seen it. You haven't seen it? I have not. Yeah. I will have to watch that. Yeah, he talks about the corn's weaknesses and how to exploit them. So, uh, Isam familiar at least with that in this uh, this matchup. And uh, I actually, this is the first time I've ever seen Dad play someone besides Robin. Um, he used to have, you know, a, a small band of secondaries um, when he was trying to figure out how to beat Nick Riddle. But Gorn was never one of them. You know, we saw him break out the Ness, uh, the Villager. He tried Meta Knight for a little bit. All of these characters Meta lasted Knight. like a week and a half before yeah. he dropped. So, okay. And <laughs> Dad's just like, you know what? I'm, I'm good. I'm good. <laughs> All right. So clearly intentional. I I'm, I smell collusion. Yeah, yeah <laughs> this is this is uh, Daft feeling bad taking you Sam's money. <laughs> yeah. So like, hey, I'll you give you, you Daft saying I'll give you a set and then I'm gonna win grand yeah. finals. Mm -hmm. So hopefully uh, he doesn't stay corn. I, I I'm surprised though that Sam would stay Pikachu against corn if he does if, if he stayed corn. Uh, because Isam does have a few secondaries, especially his Mewtwo. He's been training up his Mewtwo so hard. Yeah, his Mewtwo's very good. Uh, yeah, yeah. So I'd love to see his Mewtwo being busted out uh, sometime during these Grand Finals, but uh, we'll see. All right, so going back to the Robin. Uh, Robin on one. Smashville, We're going back to the classics, what everyone knows. Ooh! Oh my god, oh. Death went for it. Isam saved him. Did he? Pretty sure Death was dead there. I'm not sure. Oh, very smart wow. Skull Bash. He, didn't, he knew Daphne was going to look for a spike again. <laughs> wow, and the taunt! Skull Bash this on the is so cocky. This is, that is <laughs> and I'm pretty sure I can say that word. The, the, <laughs> mental, the mental game here by Sam. He's playing it slow. That's a grab. Okay, just back throw. I'm sorry he doesn't go for like a down throw uh, read of some sort. Check me. Not going to kill yet, but... Solid damage, and next one yeah, will next definitely one. kill. For sure. And uh, now Daph uh, basically making us eat our own words, uh, and he's doing such a great job here. Wow. Isam, what are you doing? Shielding on the platform at checkmate percent. Yeah. Isam, you know what Daph is looking yeah, for. Yeah, right? Every time. Yeah. Uh, well, regardless, the, uh, the taunt to get body combo. Yeah, it's always true. Mm -hmm. Always true. Absolutely works. I actually, I, after this game, I have a funny story about that, actually. And, oh. Down air. All right. Oh, keep. Oh, my God. Wow. That was so rude. Like, like he's just going to let him. He's, he lost the book. And he lost the book. He doesn't have a recovery right now. Why would he right hold now. that? Dah. He's running away. Yep. Um, the recovery for win. There it is. Recovery for win book's not that long, at the very least. But uh, he's still in a vulnerable position for, I think it's, it's either five seconds or eight seconds. I know it's one of the two. I don't remember which one. Well, regardless, it's probably back when. Oh, it is back when. Yeah, oh, yeah, but, it came back. You know, uh, losing his books and his sword, Daph. Oof, the reads. Is Daph still not a on, though. He's still on his first talk, though. Has a lot of uh, percentage to go, and uh, Esam's within uh, the death percentage. Nice. Clips the feet with that up smash. And now he's not in checkmate range anymore, which is nice. He gets some breathing room. Get to relax a little bit before you like put 50 on him, and then you're in checkmate range again, even though you took no damage. Ah, yeah. <laughs> oh, range. Anyways, <laughs> and uh, the ESAM triple fair combo racks up the 30 percent as usual. Yep, and that's it. Oh what? Ooh, no! I thought it might also because of the platform, but yeah. Well, that, regardless, yeah, that's the one. Yep, that one. And uh, yeah, so Isam kind of shaking his head. He, kn he knows. He knows. He kind of screwed up. So. From Daph having a couple sloppy, game, sloppy games to Esam 
now with the floppy game. Uh, it's kind of weird they're going back and forth for who can be the sloppiest. I feel like part of it is player adaptation, mm -hmm. and another part of it, honestly, I really think it's just a lot of spaghetti. Yeah. yeah. yeah these two players, good. especially especially these two specific players in South Florida, are very consistent, at least at the local level. Yeah. Um, so it's kind of weird to see them, you know, with the slight mishaps. Um, yeah, trust me, I, I know very well how inconsistent these are going to be at the next level. And yeah. oh, nice blue thunder. Not killing, though, which is nice. That does have the potential. Oh, my, oh, he, he was going for the jab lock up there. I remember that. Or I, I like that. But um, uh, the blue thun the thunder spike does have the potential to just spike them down and not even hit blue thunder. Yeah. Just straight up spike them. That's always nice when that happens. Uh, kind of a soft spike. He could have recovered possibly from that, but we have both of them at 66%. Stare each other down a little uh -oh. bit. Oh, oh wow. Like, that goes deep, but he Sam, this is the hit guard. Yeah, he might have expected uh, Daph to recover earlier. Mm -hmm. And Sam crouching, knowing what he's looking for there. Wow. Oh my god, that T-Jolt oh, was such a blow! That was so good by Sam. Yep. Taking that, that stock up, but Daph only has to rack up maybe 30% like by now. Three. Three. Oh, yeah. Oh yeah, Pikachu at 70? Yeah, Pikachu at 70 with no rage uh, with Robin. I would imagine 20 to 30%. Uh, before he's within kill range. Objective? Yeah, no, probably. I think I'll, I'll die like 80, 80 to 85. Really? With no rage? Pikachu's light, man. <laughs> yeah, that's true. That is true. And, oh, wow. Esam going in so deep, letting Daph blow his wind. Ooh, just oh. missing that nair. That would have been a really nice. Yep. Oh, the read. Nice. Oh, Daph, though, returning the favor with a forward of his own. And uh, at 88%, Daph still very much so in this game. And there it is. There's Battle the first stock. Very clean, very easy. Daph 88 still. And he's just got to basically rack up damage slowly, as he always does. A couple jabs here and there, and uh, he stands in checkmate percent. Now, what I'm surprised is that Isan gives him those opportunities to the checkmate. Like, yeah, that's that's the main thing I was surprised about. Because yeah. Peach is so fast, so nimble, he really shouldn't be grabbed by Rob. Yeah, characters. and he's he's a very safe character a lot, uh, especially or even on shield. Pikachu is pretty safe. Yep. Oh, dash attack. Not quite gonna do it. Pikachu dash attack. Surprisingly powerful. Surprising. Mm -hmm. Nice. Uh, he's gonna get. Oh, he missed the second one. He could have punished it with quick attack, and then gotten probably another aerial. Oh, oh, he down the bear? I am that pretty was, sure that was a miss, but I think he wanted yeah. to all win. Yeah, I, I heard the, I heard the, uh, the lightning there. Because if Pikachu was... So what Dath does in that situation, which he started doing from specifically playing me, uh, when he gets back aired off stage by Pikachu in that little tornado thing, he SDIs up to fall out above Pikachu and immediately L wins, which auto spikes Pikachu. Really? I don't know if Dath was going for it in that specific situation, but if he it was... It didn't seem like he Dath popped out above. Win. It was hard to tell. Yeah, yeah, it didn't seem like he did, but it was hard to tell because they were both in the bottom blast zone. But if he was going for that and he got it, that would have been game. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, and all right, so... Uh, Esam versus Dath 1-1 one, one in the reset. Esam came in for losers, being knocked in there by Dath uh, in a 3-1 by Dath in winner's final. So... Uh, both players have been trading uh, pretty strong, confident games back and forth. Like, uh, when Daph wins, he wins hard. When Esam wins, he wins pretty yeah. clean. So, right Definitely now, it's Daph the advantage of this, uh, this game. We'll see. Great L wins. Grab his 11 sword. I don't think he needed that 11 sword to take the damage there. Wow, I thought the Thunder was a hit. With a running down air, get Daph off stage, not punishing him. I really like these off stage T jolts. Uh, Esam goes for just to force an air dodge or a yeah. high recovery. Yeah. Makes it easier to edge guard. Absolutely. He does everything with purpose. And, oh, goes to the trump, but Daph predicting it. I, was that the first trump oh. he's gone for? I think it actually has. That's why he did it. He's mixing up a little bit, you know? Yeah. Plus, Daph like historically sits in ledge for way too yes, long. Yes, definitely. 
Alright, Esam approaching with Crawl. Very smart. Always going to be underneath the Arc Thunder. Great okay. grab. Oh, underneath right. the Arc Thunder, just like you said, he ducks. This is what I wanted to see from him. No more shielding. And the Levin Sword. Ah. Left sword and a teach old butt dash just sneaks underneath both. Nice avoid. And oh! Oh, he just has oh, he's gone. He's yeah, dead. That's it. That's it. Getting Levin sword back in the perfect situation. Mm -hmm. Or perfect timing, rather. Esam with that smile he knows is kind of bad there. But uh, at least this match is pretty close. Like, uh, with a oh, untackable. Oh. oh, he was able to jump out in time. Wow, Ooh. nice turnaround F smash there. Yeah, Dash went for a grab. That's Robin's grab. You know, we said it already. <laughs> Not the best grab in the game. And uh, Esam, 64% though. So he has his work cut out for him. A little bit more percent, and the checkmate will work at any point in time. Uh, it does It oh. does have an exit window, but it's not till like 120-ish, 115, something like that. I Also depending on rage, obviously, yep. but it's a, it's a big window. And uh, a couple of forward airs. Uh, Esam's racking up the damage there. Ooh, let's step back on the stage. Might be close to one time. Anyways. Oh, nice F smash. Barely clipping Daff there. That's it. He took it. Excellent job with the uh, the edge guards. And just like you said, did those T jolts off stage. That's it. Yeah. Puts Daff in a very tricky situation. Absolutely does. Robin, yeah, just because of how slow and linear her recovery is. Uh, recovering is definitely Robin's weakest uh, weakest aspect of her game, and Esam doing a great job just taking advantage of that fact, and uh, you know closing out stocks with that edge guard, with those edge guards. So, uh, looking to Kalos Pokemon League, please. Um, Yo, I like that stage. That stage is so much fun. Since they changed it so you can uh, wall jump on the sides, I, li I like oh, that stage can? a lot. Yeah, they they patched that in. I don't remember which patch it was, but they're not fake walls anymore, which is nice. Cool. So, uh, Town and City by Dath, all right. I um, definitely agree with this uh, counter pick for Dath. Without a doubt. This is the counter pick that. But then again, Esam also oh, no, in banned. the first. Oh, gone. Probably Lilat. Esam would never ban Lilat. You're right. Then he's, he's hovering over Duck Hunt, but. Maybe. I could see maybe banning Duck Hunt. Uh, but, anyways, uh, Esam would, would took a very, very, very clean win uh, in the uh, before the reset in the stage, so. Uh, Let's see. Maybe Dreamland. I don't know. It might have been Dreamland. Well, yeah. did he Sam win? No, he lost on Dreamland. Yeah, he lost on Dreamland. Yeah. Okay, so maybe Dreamland. Uh, but anyways. I'll ask him later. I'm actually very curious. Yeah. Nice. Oh, I said it. Nice back air. <laughs> Didn't we say you get one? Yep. Everybody gets one. <laughs> uh, but this is potentially the game winning uh, or the tournament match winning point yeah. for Esam. Uh, so, uh, Esam, using the, the crouch so much more, knowing that uh, that Daft has so few options, can't grab, can't use neutral B uh, while he's crouching. Oh, those T jolts. Oh, Daft. Punched him for going in too deep that fair. Esam is definitely within the percent that uh, that a grab will kill Daft. <laughs> I don't know what he's what he doing there. Wagging his tail. Sam does not let Daph touch the ground very easily. Definitely. Oh, there. Oh! oh! But he gets the read! Oh, almost gets the fall up there. Wow, Esam had a, such a great read the back roll there. Man, if Arc Fire had uh, less cooldown, that would be a very deadly tool for getting grabs. Yeah. You know, a lot of yeah. time you can. Oh, great reaction. He was waiting for that Arc yep. Fire to roll through it. And that's it! Wow, the platform, yeah, platform. saved his life! Mm -hmm. Wow. But Such uh micro spacing with the projectiles here. It's actually really interesting to watch this game. What? Ooh! I thought that dash attack was gonna kill. Oh. Small thing to kill. The dash attack's surprisingly strong on yeah. both these characters, actually. Mm -hmm. And the arc fire. Yeah. Sam. If Daph, if Robin could get grabs off arc fire on shield, that would be that would be Ooh, nuts. That would be Crazy. And uh, the L wins. Oh, wow. Esam lets him through. Death back on the stage. What is he? Nope. Nope. Ooh, looks for the down throw mix up. Oh, nice little uh, up air fall off the uh, oh air dodge. Oh, my God. Wow. Esam lives both players at very, very high percents. 
Almost max nice. wave. Ah, okay, there we go. They surprise a strong dash <gasps> back. Accidental skull bash off stage. Totally purposeful. Skull dash off stage. Maybe. <laughs> and oh. Oh, he's dead. Punished for jabbing. Oh, oh no. Wow. Isam with crazy DI or ooh, something going on here, but Daft is just like, enough is enough. Here's a back in for your troubles. Goodbye. Yeah. Very nice punish on that down tilt. Mm -hmm. Oh my god, Isam is relentless. Oh. But Isam left Daft back on the stage uh, fairly oh, early. Oh, I'm surprised wow. he went for a grab there. Yeah, Isam was, was, was way too high. Yeah, yeah definitely. Right now, they're both spacing their projectiles. The arc fires versus the thunder jolts. I think Daz just wanted arc fire book. Actually, he saw oh. there was one left and he wanted it, but uh, he missed it. the grab. He missed yeah. the catch. So, and nope. Oh. Esam uh, saw his opportunity, got a grab and a few rack up a little over sense and oh, oh wow. wow, Pikachu I think he though. Yeah, they almost spike there. Yes, he did. Mm. But uh, Pikachu recovery, quite good. Yes, absolutely. And uh, Esam is saying this is it. He does not want another match. No game five. He wants to take this for himself. And oh, oh. the Nair coming out a little bit late there. Good tech. Yeah. Sam runs and gets that grab. Oh, nice punish! And that's it. There he it takes is. It. Esam wins. Woo. The versus weekly. Yeah, after. Clutch reset against yep. Death in uh, winner. Uh, well, in Death winner side. Yep. So it was a three-one by Death. 